on, he's going to hook you up with your loot. In the meantime, we're going to play Shiratsuyu. Fladeshi, way back at the beginning of the stream, two hours ago, requested I play my favorite Tier 7 Japanese ship. Now, this probably isn't my favorite Tier 7 Japanese ship, but it's the one I'm going to play because it's a good Japanese Tier 7 Japanese ship, and I haven't played it, I haven't played it in a while. Miyoko's probably my favorite, but this is a good boat, especially when she's top tier. We like this. Okay. I do have a submarine to blow up. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, Akatsuki and Gaja. I outspot both of these guys by a few hundred meters. Lots of battleships to torpedo. Mmm. Mmm. Spicy matchmaking. Spicy matchmaking, ladies and gentlemen. All right. First things first. Turn your damn AA off. All right. Do I try for A or go to B? I think we need to try for A and then move to B. It would have something to do with women, whips, and oil. Way back once upon a time, when I was first grinding out the Japanese destroyer line, I played a lot of Minikaze. And in that era, Fault Line was a very, very common mid-tier map. You got Fault Line a lot. And so I played a lot of Minikaze and Fault Line. I would almost always take my Minikaze and drive straight into the middle of the map. Now, this was sometimes good and sometimes bad. Very commonly, it worked out, because in that era, Minikaze had 10-kilometer torpedoes, and I could torpedo battleships as they broke on either side of fault, you know, the islands that make up the middle of fault line. The bad was if there was an opposing destroyer that was as gutsy as I was, I was suddenly in close range in a close range gunfight with somebody that outgunned me, probably. So it was a very high risk, high reward kind of play. Over the years, I've learned to avoid running the middle of the map as a destroyer at the beginning of the game. Usually it ends badly. Usually. There you go, Chaser. Congratulations. KG, that's exactly right. KG, that's exactly right. And that's my frustration with it, right? They've... I'm going to sound like a real jackass here for a minute. And you know what? I kind of don't care because this is how I really feel. There are a lot of players, to me, in Warships that feel like they've been programmed by certain streamers or YouTubers to think a certain way. To, to think and look at the game through a certain lens. And that's the only way they see the game. It doesn't change. Because either the streamer or YouTuber they follow has chosen a persona or made up their mind about something and that's it that's the only that's the only possible explanation the only possible answer is re carrier re this re that and it's like oh you got to be kidding me right like come on and so that's a really frustrating experience when it happens because um it's like this is going to sound i have i have a lot of frustration with players and players that don't think for themselves. It's like, look, if that's your opinion, fine. But sometimes it feels to me like you've got this opinion because someone else, someone else gave it to you, or because you watch someone else and you just you're just mimicking what they say. That always irritates me a lot. Now, I ought to be able to hit the Omaha in there, I think. Nope, he's right at the front. Next time. Oh, that hurts. Hang on. Omaha's turning in. Beat him up, Rook. Okay, now let's now we'll finish him off. Goodbye. Obligatory exploding Omaha. That Omaha's gonna take a torpedo. Feels bad, hashtag. Alright. This Omaha will be dead in sh dead shortly. Yeah. He turned right into the deep waters which he knew had to be out there because it was a Gajamata. So, he's out. Bye. Well, bye. Alright, the Gaja actually outguns me. I do not want to get in a gunfight with this guy if I can avoid it. Behind. 
Especially because the Colorado is going to slap me around a little bit. It's going to feel really awful. Time to put on the beer goggles. Now, the nice thing about the ga being up against the Gaja is I know he cannot torpedo me. I don't even have to remotely worry, concern myself with that. He can't possibly harm me without his, without his guns. <laughs> Smell what, Parked? <laughs> Really want to see this. I really want to see this North, this New York, because that's the guy that I think I can torpedo next. Yes, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna need to get out of here shortly, but for now we're okay. Ten more seconds of smoke. Really want to get. I'm gonna get one more salvo, then it's time to go. Maybe two more salvos. Still probably time to go. There we go. A little fire. I can get another salvo here. So New York is in trouble. Let's see if he's figured it out. He's going to take like four of those. He's dead. Oh, and got such good gas mileage. Good gas. Well, we know where the submarine is. Why don't we go sub hunting? He's, now, he does have a New Orleans backing him up, but I got enough battleships down here. I feel pretty good about my chances. Let's do this. Hmm. <laughs> Listen. You smell something? It smells like dead Omaha. Now. Let's see what this sub is up to. There's New Orleans. That guy needs to die. Not because he has radar, but because he can potentially shoot at me while I'm trying to depth charge this submarine. And I really want to depth charge this submarine. Like, I want this dude dead. Yep, he's up here in front of me somewhere. I want to back off a bit. I've just looked at the map and realized I am very, very alone out here, and I really don't want to be. So, we're going to back off. I want to get away from the, the, the blinking, the blankety blank blank submarine. He's going to drift into one of those. LOL, LOL. Guys, maybe you should shoot the heavy cruiser that's right in the middle of the map. Like, that's free. That's a free kill for you guys. Come on. Like, seriously? It's not hard. Okay, the Gaja's low. We gotta go kill him. We need to clean up our backfield. Let me go take care of him. I can beat him in probably about two salvos. And y'all really need to kill this guy. If I promise to kill you last... I lied. Why does he live? Why does he live? You know, I'm doing almost 40 knots, but this ship feels like it's crawling. I legit do not understand what is happening right now. I got ships that have never left spawn. Look at where my battleships are. Look at this. Look at this. The New Orleans is basically capping B for free because no one will shoot at him. Come get some. 
like anybody, Bueller. Next time I pull the trigger, you're a dead man. This is your last salvo. Make it count. Oh. Wait, what just happened? He had 400-something XP, 400-something HP, took 400 HP, and, and what the hell just happened there? That was some strange. That was strange. Okay. Much better. I took more damage there than I should have. I'm not going to fight you. I'm going to kick your If you guys ass. will get up there and wipe out this New Orleans, I will go kill the damn submarine. It will not be difficult. But you guys got to kill this clown. He's swanning around the middle of the board with f three different battleships that can shoot at him. He's literally stationary. It's a stationary heavy cruiser. Oh my god. Finally. Holy but Jesus, that took way too long. Got such good gas mileage. Okay. Two things on my mind right now. One, I want to death charge and kill the submarine. Two, who's on the surface in the cap in front of me. Two, once he's dead, I want to back cap C. At least that's what I want to do. I mean, I get the chance. Die, you son of a bitch. Yeah. This guy's drifted out of his smoke. We need to kill him while we can spot him. All right, we've got another Omaha coming this way. Isn't that fun? Please. How am I lit by planes? Gucci, Gucci. Gucci, Gucci. Gucci, Gucci. Ah, much better. Time to put on the beer goggles. Now, we're going to load the AP. And let's see what we can do to this Omaha. Assuming he lives very long. Another day, another disembowelment. Damn it, he does have his hydro. Oh, that hurts. Hold on. I'm about to get AP in the barrels. <laughs> Even in Omaha cannot resist the power of Japanese destroyer guns. <laughs> All right, let's go dumpster this submarine and get an even call it an even six, shall we? I didn't realize I got a double strike there, too. That's awesome. Big fan of that, kids. Hey, what's up, my friend? Can't leave my ride behind. Impossible to target. That's okay. I have just the thing to target him with. Don't worry. You are super screwed, dude. Our victory is in sight. 
Bye. <laughs> As the prophecy foretold. Just as the prophecy foretold. <laughs> Next time, play a real shit. <laughs> well, Gilron, that's one way to look at it. Yeah. Sad thing is, I don't think I'm going to have time to get up here. And uh, wipe out this um, wipe out this ranger, which is unfortunate. Actually, I just realized my A and aerial spotting are the same range, so I should be I should be leaving my A on the whole time. Yeah, he's just the game will be over before we get up here to kill him, which is which is unfortunate, but that's all right. Oh, oh, time extension. Time extension, 90 seconds. Well, I might be able to do it now. Let's see. Can we get kill number seven, ladies and gentlemen? Can we get kill number seven? Chug it, 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 chug it. If we do this, it's going to be very, very close. Seven kills is my high record. Uh, the last time I did it was in, I think, G101. So it has been a hot minute. Forty seconds. Torpedoes at the ready. He's right up here. I, I might actually have time to do it. This would be so cool. Come on. The York's going to either make him... He's going to have to either move or die where he is. No, I'm not going to get the chance. I'm going to miss it by about 15 seconds here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, oh, 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 no, right as I clicked the pull, oh, right as I fired the guns, oh, so irritating, that's okay, that's okay, still a solid game, yeah, Shiritsuyu remains one of the best tier 7 destroyers, like, she's just so solid, such a great boat, such a great boat, I love this ship, still think it's hilarious, I got, a, I got an AP Citadel on that Omaha, makes me giggle, nice, Nice. Nice variety of ribbons, right? I got torpedo hits, I got citadels, I got fires, I got caps, I got depth charges, double strike and a kraken. Nice. Nice. Love this. Love this ship. Love this ship. Thank you for that one, Vladeshi. Good call. Good pickup.